KCNQ2 is a genetic epilepsy. So seizures are part of the condition. How significant have seizures been in uh, your son's case? They're a massive part of our life, to be honest. Um, from day one, the fear uh, of knowing whether Eric will come out of the seizures, are we going to the hospital, what to do, to be trained up on how to give medicines. After my son was born, um, I believe within three days, he started showing um, seizure activities. Um, and it took us, you know, a couple months to get the diagnosis because, you know, we just, people didn't know what it was. So my daughter was born um, and started having seizures fairly early in life, uh, three days into um, her birth, so in the neonatal period. Um, and it's, uh, overall, it's greatly affected all of our lives. It's changed really how we view the world, how we live. Our day-to-day -day life, it's, it's been a significant uh, change. The significance of the M current. Well, the significance really is that it controls the behavior of the cell. We're looking at it here from the point of view of epilepsy. Can see the channels probably mediate some component of this process. And this is how we all started. And then the more we did the work on it, the more I got more interested in Can CQ2 channels. The primary motivation has been, you know, came from the discovery of seriously ill ch children affected by uh, variants in KCNQ2 and later KCNQ3. The purpose of the Natural History Project is really to address a very important goal in clinical trials design, and that is to understand what kinds of outcomes are important to target when developing and testing new therapies. Please get to get to know our kids. Um, take the time to get to know them.